Hi there, today we're unboxing a power over ethernet switch. So this particular switch comes with 10 ports, eight of which are power over ethernet ports and two are uplink ports. The uplink ports actually support gigabit speeds. Now details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's have a look at what you get in the packaging. So the package itself, very plain, nothing fancy on there. Let's open it up, see what we get. We get a user manual and all the details within this are all in English, which is great. Get a power cable, UK standard looks like it's got a fuse as well on there and a standard cable you do is on a PC. Okay, got some fixtures here and some pads to go underneath it. If you're gonna desktop mount this, and the actual switch itself. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging. So let me show the fixtures you get with this. So you get two brackets, and the purpose of them are, if I get the actual switch itself, each side has two holes, and you can actually attach the brackets on each side. Let me just show, like so. Obviously it's got the screws for that as well. And you can mount it, obviously, onto an area. As well as that, if I look on the bottom of the actual power of ethernet switch, you've got four recesses here, and that's where these pads can be stuck on. If you're just gonna put it on your desk or an area where it's not mounted high up, so avoids it slipping. Okay, so the next thing to show, let me show the actual dimensions of the device. So if I get my ruler, so just under 20 centimeters, by 11 and a half and the thickness is just under four and a half. So quite a compact device. If I come in close just to show, you've got vents at either side. If I come in at the back, you've got obviously the power connector. I like the fact it's just a standard power connector you'd use, for example, on a PC or a server. And also you've got an earth connection point. So. The good thing about the cable is obviously if there's ever a damage on there or a fault with it, you can just quick easily replace it. Okay, and underneath, as I've already mentioned, you've got four recesses for the pads. Now, if we come into the front here, just to show, you've got your eight power of ethernet points and your two uplinks there. And if I come in at the side, you've got an indicator for power and extended mode. So the device actually can run in two different modes. You've got currently selected is standard. So that will support lengths of up to, so lengths being cable length of up to 100 meters. And then you've got extended mode, which is if I flip over to there, and that can support lengths of up to 250 meters. But obviously with that, there's a reduction in actual speed transferred. So with extended mode, it'll only support up to 10 megabits per second. Okay, so one thing to note about this device, it's quite cool in the point of, if you had a number of power over ethernet devices, they can all be plugged into there. And the purpose of this would be for a number of uses. So for instance, if you had an IP phone, number of IP cameras, or even a wireless access point, it could be plugged into this. Another advantage of this, if you had a home security system, which was power over ethernet, and you were having trouble installing it, obviously running cables uh, around your property, what you could do, for instance, if your cameras were installed in your loft of your property, and you could put this in your loft and connect all the cameras into it, so if you had your soffit on your roof, you drill a hole and obviously have it coming into your loft and connect it straight in. And then you can find a, a way of obviously connecting the uplink. So you could use one of those uh, power adapters that can transfer your ethernet connectivity. So that's quite an interesting use for it. Obviously it'll avoid you if you didn't know where the access points are around your house to run the cables. So this will give you that sort of advantage. Okay, so let's plug this in and see what happens when you power it up. So one end of the cable obviously goes into there, plug it in, I hold it like so, and I'll plug in the other end. Okay, you see all the ports flash 
and you've got the power indicator there. Okay, next I'm gonna show how to use this power of ethernet switch. So pretty straightforward. As I've already said, the uplinks here, so either connector can be used to connect to your router or your actual NVR if you're using a CCTV system. So I'm gonna to connect to my test network. So this red cable here connects to my router. If I plug that in, you should see the link light come on. So next, I've actually got three separate cameras. So a dome camera, a bullet camera, and a PTZ camera. And all three can be connected directly into this. So the dome camera, if I plug that in, See the link light come on in a moment. There you go, it's come on. Next, the actual bullet camera. Let's just see. That one's come on. Yep, they're both on now. And finally, the actual PTZ. So that's quite a large camera. Obviously it will have quite a lot of power going to it. There you go, it's initializing right now and it's going through its initialization process initially. So there you go, all three cameras connected and running off this. And this particular one is a 4K camera in terms of picture quality. And that PTZ camera has a high level of zoom on there. So there you go. So now if I had these cameras installed in the soffit areas of my property, I could just literally have this switch in my loft so I don't have to run so many cables around my house. And then obviously this can be plugged into my router. So if I had a gap somewhere, I could actually run this single cable if I wanted to. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this power over ethernet switch. Simple to set up and configure. Variety of uses for this, obviously for situations where you've got a number of power over ethernet devices, you can connect it straight into this. Obviously you can integrate it into a CCTV system as well. So very useful bit of kit here. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.